we look at this, Donna is still on time. And he decided that the best thing is for him to pray for Jerusalem. How can you imagine? A father reigning in a place, and Absalom declare himself in another place as a king. Then imagine this the devil will never go and fight Absalom. But he asked some soldiers that just do not command them to go and kill him. They are ready. You then you you ask me, Pastor, how does it how do, are you saying this? Have you forgotten it just because of those soldiers kill? Then David wanted to build the the house. God said, No, you building the house for me with many people you have killed. Forget it. I don't want the house of the blood. And this is what is happening. Then David now look in the book of Psalm, chapter 1. 122 Psalm, the book of Psalm 122. The book of Psalm 122, 1 to 6. The book of Psalm 122. I will read for us. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribe go up, the tribe of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thron, throne of judgment, the throne of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. My dear brother, my dear sister, for every one of us that love the country we come from, and we are praying for it, that there will not be separation and there will not be problem. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall prosper in Jesus' name. And you know what? It's not in the United States. I always have, whenever I eat and uh, I have a full stomach, I always thank God for United States. Because if there's anything that is cheap, it is food. It is United States, you eat, you watch your weight. I don't know. It is in United States. It is in United States, you will be eating, and then we will be watching our stomach. That's the, our stomach feeling come out. It is in the United States. It is in the United States, my child, little ones, he was very little yesterday. He, she ate it, and then said, Daddy, I was full. <laughs> it is the United States. And many times I thank God for this country. I was telling somebody in my place of work, if you look back, it is food. If you look right, it is food. If you look for, in my place of work, I don't know. The blessing was just too much. And I pray that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the blessing will continue in Jesus' name. You now ask me, if you are praying for United States, if you are praying for Nigeria, how, do, how will that blessing come unto you? Many of us, we have discussed this together. Why does God so support the United States? Because they are supporting Israel. And Israel is an eyeball of the Lord. And the God said, whosoever that cost you, I shall cost. And whosoever that love you, I shall love. Those people who we call NATO, you know, there's something we call indirect. No matter how they love United States, they love Israel. So don't be, don't be, don't be, don't, don't be surprised. If you see some country like Saudi, all other country have been prosperous. And then yes, this morning I was reading about I was reading about why Israel was a favorite of God by a Muslim. So don't forget, if United States love Israel, and then Saudi Arabia, Qatar, all these uh, country they love United States indirectly, they love Israel. So don't be don't be surprised. Why God is blessing them? And then recently we went together. That's why that God blessed them. United States is still ruining the world. We, we went together when we visited one of our brother. He said, 
all those countries you are talking about, Russia, if they are just blowing trumpets, they are blowing trumpets. It is because there is nothing that's happened. No one among them can be compared with the United States. Why? Whosoever bless Israel shall be blessed. And whosoever cause Israel shall be closed. Why? We are eyeball of God. And so, when we decided that we are going to pray for our country, the, the, the return is what David said that in, the, in chapter 6, in, in chapter 6, what he said, Peace be with you. I mean, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. And as the power and the blood, as you are praying for United States, you are praying for Nigeria, you shall be prosper in Jesus' name. You have been prosper. I don't know how many of us that we have called our brother have done it many times in Nigeria. And then I will tell them, this is time here, they will tell you I've not eaten since morning. Maybe by that time, we are putting food high in our house. We are putting food inside the, uh, what do we, trash bag to go and throw away. And I will look up. You know, I have a lot of fault because of our program on the YouTube. I have a friend in Kenya, and then we always talk together. And he was telling me, Pastor Matthew, just because of what is seen, you have never visited or he said you are taking care of your children. He does not even know. Maybe it was my wife or me. And you are taking care of your family. He said with sincerity of mind that whatever that is remnant that kindly be sending to me. That's how you will know. There's a letter this morning I wanted to send to Brother Benjamin. I will send it to you. That's a part of, because of our, how God has enlarged us in this church, maybe I will be sending part of it to him to know that there's a lot of demand because of what they believe we are. Uh, they are this morning I wanted to send one, but I think I was rushing when the person sent the letter. And then he was saying, Pastor, that's why they are working. I'm in this university, I'm in this university. And I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But, but he said, that's why the hard work to even have money to buy the handout the teacher is producing become problem. He said, whatever you are, send to me. There was a, read about a month ago, somebody sent a message, and I'm very sorry, not that I did it deliberate. Maybe because of the way he sent the message, that's the way I replied. And maybe I saw him as if somebody that is very polite in sending. Because I remember there was somebody that sent a message from uh, Austin State like that, and I was discussing with my wife that he was looking at us that God has so blessed you. Why can't you do yourself to do for me? And I replied, okay, I will not buy it again. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I said, but there's another one that sent the message. And he said, he said, he, after narrating all those, all those messages, and, I, and then he said, uh, he said something. I said, but that's the complaint of everybody. He said, yes, pastor, that's the complaint in Nigeria. That's how you will know that we are blessed in this country. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as we are praying more for this country, God will continue to bless us in, in, in Jesus' name. When, but when you look at it, the reason why we need to pray God bless this country. The, the country recently, I know. One, one of our pre presidents said, the country is not a Christian country. He has a reason for saying it. I don't know. I don't. I'm very sorry to say. If I want, I will have put it in his way, but I didn't. So that's how you will know that I'm not trying to, uh, to, uh, to assert him more, that more than what he said. But he said, the country is not a country state. And then, recently, I learned about the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States does not allow them to be a Christian. Yes or no? Or many of us are no. No. The Constitution does not allow them to be a Christian. They are allowed to be as many religions they want to be not a same legend like Rome, 
I don't know if Belgium is another one that they declare themselves as a, as a Christian. Uh, but the founder of the country, they stood as a Christian. The constitution does not allow them to call themselves a Christian, a Christian religion, a Christian nation. But the founder of the country, they stand on that Christianity and that's why they put on their money in God we trust. But now the backwardness has started. Okay, the president was saying we are going to remove this because the constitution does not allow us backwardness. They started want to become like a uh, what is the person we learn about today? Ruth and uh, and Oprah. They, they want to go back. That's the reason. Why. And we are seeing that going back and that's why we are we started having a certain back a setback you know all this argument that is happening it shouldn't have been happening let's say they still depend upon the upon upon god but you know when you look at some pastors that are narrating it they will be telling you as a result of this action as a result of this action god has brought this president in order to correct us but by the power and the blood of jesus christ we are going to listen to correction in jesus name we see a lot of people the the lower people want to be i mean to be punished in order to enrich the rich people why take god out of somebody and then by the time you take god there's no mercy again and this is what is happening. Let us take God out of all our policy. Let us take God out. So you know that this, when, when Jesus Christ even recognized the poor. And then all those politicians know that the best thing they can do is to take God out of the policy of the, of the country. By the time they take God out of, the, out of the country, the Satan will rule. Then by the time Satan rule, the, the, the lower people are going to be suffering. They know their strategies. If they don't know, they will know what is planning. To use them but by the power and the blood of jesus christ we are we are praying it is not going to be happen in jesus name when somebody have a million billion dollar and they are saying that okay if the person have a billion dollar you that have ten dollars see we are we are going to collect from those people who have who does not have to those people who have continue to what we are going to be tasking you so that the money we use to task you, we use it to provide infrastructure for those people who have money to make an industry so that they will continue to be rich. They won't collect their money directly from you, but they will use your money to make road, to make everything that is very suitable for them to make, to use their company to make money. Instead of tasking them, they are tasking them like maybe 30% or something like that, but they will be tasking you using your money to make infra infrastructure then they will continue to be they will cut their own tasks so that they will continue to use that money to make more 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 business to make profit for them they know what they are doing but god is opening our eyes and we are going to pray against all those things and god is going to help us in jesus name i talk about united states what about in nigeria where there's a poverty you see a boy, the cloth is there, and then he's there, he's still dancing. And you will not be thinking, and look at the body of this boy, look at the knee, look at everything, dirtiness, and this boy is still dancing. What makes him joyful? Then you think about something, people, they will not kidnap people. They will say, okay, if you don't bring 20 million, they, they have done it to the extent they are going to the farms. Where people, poor people are, they will still go and kidnap those people, co collect money from the people who are farmer. Merciless. And then uh, uh, politics is not sound. You are everyone of us know. It is like today, why are you you south are there? Why you are not are there? Why are you east are not uh, is not there? But God is talking to you today by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ to pray for your Jerusalem. And when you pray for your Jerusalem, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Isaiah was born in his day and asked the Lord for how long? 
I know you two must have been sending tears. If you don't have your appearance, you have sibling. You can't bring every one of them to United States. You see, you you see my you. I, I have a parent that is around 75, 80, and then here yeah, the kind of my own rice. I'm try. I'm taking it to the trash, but here yeah, there I don't know what she's eating. She's my mom. I call, I have a junior brother to the extent that when he's speaking, not even English, when he's speaking Yoruba, I don't want to listen. Because there's, there's even poverty in that voice. I don't, to be sincere, I don't want to listen. I can't bring every one of them to the United States. And that's it. I know if you don't think in that way, you must be, I mean, you need to be thinking in that way. And that's why the Bible said, pray for Jerusalem, for those people who pray for Jerusalem. They shall, there's nothing you can do. How many people you want to send money to? A rich man, a one rich man in the midst of ten poverty man is to a, is a poor man. And this is what is happening. It's like, oh, my mom, why can't you be right there have car here? Why can't you give you one? It's not possible. The person that visited my mom recently, he said that mom cannot walk from this place to that place. Boy, sit down. Because of nail. But here, I cannot walk. This is my strong land. That's what anything. I cannot walk from here without taking car. That's my own side. I know many of us in that situation too, but by the grace of the law, we are going to pray for Nigeria, and Nigeria, America, is going to be delivered in Jesus' name. In Isaiah 6, 11, the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 11, the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 11, the book of Isaiah chapter 6, if, do not forget, for a long ago, I prophesied that God was sending us in the church that we should have a foundation for those people who are suffering, especially small people. I mean, small children, little, little children. But I know the dream is coming through, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. In the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 11. Isaiah was saying, then said I, Lord, how long and he answer until this be wasted without inhabitant? That's what God says. Until city is, you know what is wasted without inhabitant? There's nobody there again. And then recently, I don't know if you have, if you have read your news up to the, some people are saying maybe during this regime, that's when the world will, will, will collapse totally. Why? When we are talking about atomic bomb, Yes, we have atomic bomb here. But when we are talking about atomic bomb, Russia has atomic bomb. Two of them they never agree. If they decided to test it, that's the end of the world. And you know our president doesn't care. He said, "Where, where, where, where are we? Where, where are we where, if we are not going to use it, where do we? Where, why do we? Where do they make it? I mean, where, why do they make it? Let all you see and see if it's going to work." And the, the Bible was saying, and that's what all the Christians, all the pastors are saying, that for everything that is happening, there's a prophecy about it. Isaiah was saying, he said, then said, how long, how long, and the answer on the city be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. We are not going to be destroyed in Jesus' name. God has a purpose of creating us. And the purpose is to bring soul into the kingdom of God. Not a single man will defeat the purpose of the Lord in Jesus' name. But when Isaiah said his own, in the book of Second Chronicle chapter seven, verse four. Second Chronicle chapter Second Chronicle, the book of Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Then those people who know God, whom God is, they said, they said, Second Chronicles, they said. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, then we are from heaven and we forgive their sin and we eat their land. 
So if you, as you are looking at me, if I, as I looking at you, the Bible say, if my people who are called by my name shall humble them, if you can humble yourself, forget that I'm not care about this president. He is a useless man, no matter what he's going to do. We are still proud. We have said we shouldn't fought for him. And we shouldn't fought for him. We have fought for him. Now you have seen. We are still proud. Oh, he's a useless man. Let him do whatever he wants to do. Then he just say four years. We are still proud. We are still arguing with the Lord. That we we did the right thing. We say the right thing. The Bible now said, if we can humble, if we can humble ourselves and pray and seek my and, and seek my face and turn from their wicked way. You know what the wicked mean? Do you know in the book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 7? Book of Psalm chapter 9. Let me see. Book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 7. Then you know the meaning of, of wicked. Book of Psalm chapter 9. Book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 7. Uh, it's not where I want to. But in that in that book, the Bible said the end of the wicked, the end of the wicked is hell. Then what God was talking about the oh the book of book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 17. Look at it. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and the nation that forget God. If you fail to pray unto the Lord, if you fail to call upon the name of the Lord, you are wicked. And the, that wickedness is that you forget God. The, that wicked is that you don't mind. Whatever happened to the leader of our country, whatever happened to those people who wanted this country to be collapsed, that you don't care. The Bible says, if, if the women, the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we have been revived. We have been revived this morning in Jesus' name. That's why they, they are good or not good. We are going to pray for them. And that's why God has created us. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray for them in Jesus' name. That leg one lead me to the clarion call to the consigned people. The clarion call to the consigned people. After all, the Israelites have been selected. And whenever they are going to the house of the Lord, they always be joyful. That we can see in the book of Genesis that they have been selected. The book of Genesis chapter 17, 21. The book of Genesis chapter 17, 21. The book of Genesis chapter 17, 21. And when we are talking about the Israelites, we are talking about you. That through Jesus Christ, you are being selected. You are being anointed. And I will not be surprised. I will, it will not be a surprise story for me when you are going to the house of the Lord, in the corner of your house, in your mind, inside your car, and you are praying to the Lord. The Bible says, 17, I mean, 17, 21, Genesis 17, 21. But my covenant we are established with Isaac, with Sarah shall bear unto you at this set time in the next year. Already the covenant is there. And then if the covenant is there within you and God, you are the one that's going to break the covenant of the world in Jesus' name. The rod is in your hand. You don't need to care. Recently, one of our fathers sent a message for us, and he said, uh, the son was asking him, who is, uh, how, how big is God? The father said, look at that, look at that plane. He said, how, how big is it? He said, it's very, very small. Said, hey, okay, come, follow me. He now took that son to the airport. By the time he got to the airport, he said, how big is he, is he, I mean, how big is the aeroplane? No, he, he told, he, he's showing him the aeroplane or up, say, uh, in, or the air. He said, how big is that aeroplane? He said, it's very, very small. He said, okay, call, follow me to the airport. He, he took him to the airport. By the time they get to it, he said, how big is this plane? I said, this is very, very big. He said, that's how big God is. The more you move near him, the more you see how God is big. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the covenant is in your hand, the rod is in your hand. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to use it to deliver the country in Jesus' name. Do not be surprised when Simon say, I was glad 
when they say let us so when the clock call is come is coming on to you today it is my belief you will be joyful that among those people who are going to rescue america who are going to rescue nigeria who are going to rescue the world you are one of them you don't need your name don't need to be shown if you can call upon the name of the Lord that God is what I want and God is answering you, I know this one is not too big for God to answer you and He's going to answer you in Jesus' name. Just pray for the peace of the world. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you shall be prosper in Jesus' name. The come, come to us today. The question is, are we ready to go or stay in our selfishness? I don't care. If you do not care, that's me. You are wicked. In Genesis chapter six, chapter verse six. Genesis chapter six, verse six. In book of Genesis chapter six, verse six. Uh, <coughs> and the call, the call came on to Moses. Bible says, and it, I mean, and it repented the Lord that He had made man on the earth. I mean, that one is noir. The the call come on to the noir. Now these people see what they are doing, but no answer the call. My brother, my sister, my mother in the Lord, my father in the Lord, you children, are you going to answer the call of God? Have you forgotten that? Let's say no I didn't answer the call during that par particular time. Those people who are saved wouldn't have been saved. We wouldn't have been, we wouldn't, there wouldn't have been anybody like us now. But because no one answered the call, other people perish. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to answer your prayer and you are going to save the world in Jesus' name. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 11. 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 11. I've told us about Gideon. Gideon. 1 Samuel, uh, I mean, let's go, to, let's go to Judges chapter 6. Judges chapter 6, 12 to 16. Judges chapter 6, 12 to 16. Judges chapter 6, 12 to 16. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with you, you, you mighty man of failure. And Jesus said unto him, Oh my God, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this thing befalling us? I know you are saying the same thing. God, don't you see when they are voting this man that he's going to be a president? Why can't you let the election do not come at all? Why do you even let him win uh, primary? Why do you even allow him to win? Forget that one, humble yourself. And then Gideon called uh, just, 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 I mean, God called Gideon. Gideon didn't say why. The same thing Gideon was complaining. That if you be with all, why do you even allow the Mobama Abi, this Mobama, to be attacking you? Do not forget the same Mobama that's the Mobama the uh, El Melech went to. Why you align them to be attacking us? God knows. But he knows that you are there. He was he was telling them, like Abraham, if what about if I can have five people more? You are among those five people, you are among those ten people Abraham is looking for. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Trump may not know you. Our leader in Nigeria, Jonathan, may not know you. The rep of this particular place may not know you, but Almighty God know you. And your reward is in heaven in Jesus' name. Stop murmuring. Stop complaining. The only thing, the only asset, the only rod you have in your hand now that you can use to rep, to separate the Red Sea is the prayer. And if you use you, if you use it, every one of us are going to share testimony in Jesus' name. Just a matter of two years, we will come to this people and be sharing testimony. Not because of any other thing, because we pray. And God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. In Judges chapter 11, Judges chapter 11, Judges chapter 11, Judges chapter 11, 4 to 8, 
Judges chapter 11, 48. And it came to pass in process of time that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. And it was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elder of Gideon went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Thor. And they said unto Jephthah, Come and be our captain, that we may fight with the ch ch children of Ammon. Do not forget Jephthah, he has been sent out. Nobody recognizes him. The same way nobody recognizes you, nobody knows you. When we are talking about those people who are going to visit the President of the United States today, nobody knows. But I'm telling you that God is using me to tell you today that you have an important role to play in this nation because this is a nation whereby there's no nobody. I mean, many people does not care about God, but you care about God. And God is calling you that if my people humble themselves and call upon me, all this problem is going to be solved. And it's going to be solved in the name of Jesus Christ. The question you need to be asked, ask, I mean, ask yourself is am i going to answer the call of god many people are called like that during that video samuel was called Samuel answered the call of god and then the, our jesus christ himself in the book of galatians chapter 1 verse 4 galatians chapter 1 verse 4 galatians 1 verse 4 galatians 1, 4. Galatians 1 i mean jesus christ sacrificed my dear brother, my dear sister, if you say we want to be like Jesus Christ, what do you want to say? You see, a day prayer and fasting for your country, for my country, that God eat this country. From, do not let any this kind of what happen. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, only you will know what you have done. And when the testimony comes, only you will know that God answer prayer. And God is going to answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Galatians 1, verse 4. Galatians 1, verse 4. The book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 4. The book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 4. And the Bible says, the Bible says, Who gave himself for our sin, that he might deliver us from the present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will be like him, and we are going to deliver this word in Jesus' name. So the question now is, what is the credibility of the intercessor? What do, we, what do I need to see in you? To be able to stand before Almighty God. What do you need to see in me to be able to stand before Almighty God? In the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 4, the book of Genesis chapter 4, in the book of Genesis chapter 4, you need to give your time. The, I, I won't be surprised if I can see if we can organize a prayer one Saturday and say that this Saturday, all what we want to pray for, not apart from all the prayer meeting we have, is to pray for our nation, to pray for our country, that God should do it. Why? Because look at what Abel did. In the book of in the book of Genesis chapter four, verse four. The book of Genesis chapter four, verse four. And I know everyone of us we are hearing this message, and we are going to be thinking about it. That all what we want to pray is for God to have mercy on United States in Nigeria. And Abel and Abel, he also brought of the first thing of his flock and of the fat. Therefore, and the Lord are respect unto Abel and to his offering. You made the best thing, your best time, the best you have, the best, the best of the best. Yeah, you think that if not because you want to pray today, nobody can ever do this to me. And I feel forgetting what Sammy said. I will not sacrifice anything that will not cost me unto Almighty God. And that thing that is very precious, that is just that your time, that your particular time, that if not because we want to pray for God to save Nigeria, to save America, that's why we gather together, maybe about six of us, and we decided to pray that God save this America, save, 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 save Nigeria, and see how prosperous we are going to be. Make the best out of your best, that you will know this is paining me. That's what David said. 
I will not sacrifice anything that will not cost me home to the Lord. That's the credibility. That's what we need from you. That's what we know that you have sacrificed. Not that a single prayer that is very easy now. Immediately we, we depart. Eh? It's almost that we are going home. When we get home, we will need that and say, thank God, thank you. Or in the morning, we wake up and say, God, thank you, safe Nigeria. Safe the but the one we decided that, yes, I support to do this. I support to do this. But, but because we have this prayer today, I sacrifice this and I'm, and I'm coming. That's what, I, that's what Abel did. And God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. In 4 Samuel chapter 2, chapter 2, how do I, how do I know? To, how, how will I know? In the 4 Samuel chapter 2, 26. 4 Samuel chapter 2. 4 Samuel chapter 2. 4 Samuel chapter 2, 26. 4 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26. 26. How, how will I know that you really mean it and you are ready to sacrifice to Almighty God? First Samuel chapter 22. This one, it, it seems like I misquote the. Oh, chapter 2. I'm very sorry. 2 26. First Samuel 2 26. How will I know that really you decide? To sacrifice one to one. And the chastisement grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. Do you know that Samuel have been dedicated to Almighty God? You have dedicated to your, yourself to Almighty God. That's why you will have that fish and marvin. That's how you will have that dream and marvin. You have not dedicated yourself to the dollars. You have not dedicated yourself to a lot of things that is carrying other people. And God is going to use you as God used Samuel in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to use me as God used Samuel in the name of Jesus Christ. What are those things that we see in your character and that will let me know in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Book of Joshua that, that you want it and you are ready to obey the commandment of the Lord today. That we should stand up in deeper life child me to pray for America. Let us forget any other thing. When we are talking about clothes, look at every one of us, we are looking fine. When we are talking about shoes, look at every one of us, we are looking fine. When we are talking about somebody beautiful, look at every one of us, we are, we are, we are, we are beautiful. But I'm standing about something that is very spiritual that nobody can see, only God Himself can see. And it's ready to reward God in secret. Do not forget what the Bible said that he that sit in secret will surely reward in, I mean, in openness. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. In the book of Joshua, chapter chapter 1, verse 8. How will I know? You will believe in the word of the Lord I'm reading now. You will believe in the judgment of the Lord. You will believe that if God call, if my people call upon my name. The, I mean, I will answer it. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and you shall have good success. You will believe on what the Bible says. You will depend on what the Bible says. And you will not take this as a joke. I know if this morning they give us a query in my place of work, and then they say, Matthew, you have done this, you have done this. I know that one, I will, before we come to the pupil, I will map Cobra, all, all of you, one by one into, into the corridor. That please see this, this, see this, 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 the query I receive. We receive, a, we receive a petition from God that we should call upon him so that he can save this country and he can save the, our country. And God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. In Job 33, 26. In Job 33, 26, the book of Job 33, 26, the book of Job 33, 26. What, see what Job said about the power of prayer. The Job 33, the Job 33, 26. Job 33, he shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him, and he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. God will do it. He will use you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this petition, you will not throw it to trash in Jesus' name. Do not forget where we are coming from. Pray for Jerusalem. Those who pray for Jerusalem, 
they shall be prosper. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall be pro prosper in Jesus' name. Confident of God with spectac spectacular people. In the book of Isaiah, and I mean, I've read that one for one, the book of Psalm, chapter 12, 2 to 6. Those who pray for Jerusalem, they shall be prosper. If you can do it, if we can do it, and let us see the results. And I know God is going to help us in Jesus' name. But for the last verse I'm going to read today, Matthew 7, 7, the popular verse. Matthew 7, 7. Matthew 7, 7. You know, 7 is a complete number. It is today I'm see the reason why Holy Spirit put this 7 into 7. They ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Not and it shall be open unto you. For everyone who asks receive, and he who seek find, and to him who knock shall be open. The door shall be open in Jesus' name. America's land shall be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. In Nigeria, we shall hear testimony about it in Jesus' name. In one condition, if my people are called by my name, humble themselves and call upon me. I believe we are going to call upon, upon God this morning with a little time. And we are going to look at the time we are going to come together to pray for these two Guyan country. We are so lucky. We come from a great country, the, great, the Guyan of Africa. And we, we are living in a country we, they call the police of the world. What a blessing. Let us rise up and call upon the name of the Lord. That God rescue this country. To the modern pray. Pray for Nigeria. You, the country, at the point of contact to reach every other country in the world. Let's use Nigeria as a point of contest to reach every other country that there will be peace, oneness, and unity. That there should be sense of judgment. That the right judgment. That God should give the leaders wisdom that every Aito fell in Nigeria that is giving wrong counsel, wrong decision to cause chaos and turmoil in the land, that such counsel will be turned into foolishness. We need peace, we need tranquility. No conflict, no war. For we are all one created by God. I'm going to pray for us men that God will put the love of humanity into the heart of everyone in our nation. That they will not just see tribe, they will not just see race, right? They will see humanity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I will thank you, Lord, for the word I will hear to God today. Father, we've seen. Oh God, how it is important that we've been restored back to you and we cl and click on to you. Father, we pray for our nations that anywhere, any area they've gone astray. Father, we ask that you will restore them back. 
Father, we ask for peace, we ask for oneness. Father, not just only in Nigeria, but in every part of the world. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, for your mercy upon every nation. Touch their hearts and lead them to repentance. Amen. And as they hear your word, O oh Lord, that they will realize that there is no other way. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. For that you said your peace you give, not as the world give it. For I ask for your peace to reign in Nigeria and in every other country in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.